Hey guys, this is going to be another packing review for someone. Uh, I'm doing another review for Jesse, Sinister on Arachnobores. I just received a package from him. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. I already know this is going to be awesome. So, here's the box. Already taking stuff off. I'm gonna open it now and we'll take a look. Alright, so upon opening it, you can see amazing job. Here we can start from the box, heat pack, still a little warm, that's good. Well insulated. Awesome. Whoa, there are a lot of things in here. What? No way. Okay, this is not <laughs> he. Okay, uh, I've recently gotten to know Jesse a bit, like on the boards, and I've done a 50 50 with him with my uh, female Pyrogallus. He sent me a mail and stuff, so I'm getting to know him. He's a really nice guy. He's probably one of my best friends in the hobby so far, and uh, this is the second time he's given me freebies. Uh, I was supposed to be getting two female Holothelli Inseis and a mature male, and one of them he even bred with another male for me and gave me a second male to like give me an even better like sack, right? And there are a few extra things in there right now, so Jesse, thanks so much. <laughs> Let's take this. Okay. <laughs> this is the mated, the mated female. Skittish and defensive one. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Oh my goodness. Somapolis Cambridge eye again. Jesse, man. A Somapolis Arminia. Yikes, man. You're so generous. I told him. Like, you guys, you can know this too. I told him, just wait, whatever it is I'm breeding, like I have to give him something really nice. Like I don't even care. His generosity is just unbelievable. If I ever successfully breed P. Metallica, as I told him, I'm giving him a free sling. Really, like I'm not kidding. Yeah, he's, he's wonderful, he's a very nice guy. What do we have here? This is the immature female. He warned me that she's extremely fast. And then this must be the male. Yeah, here's a mature male, HNC. Well, I don't want to pester these guys too much. I don't have my cups and containers with me to move them into. They're in my room. Oh, I put my knife away. But I just want to check to see everybody's okay. So what I'll do is open their containers and just show you them. And uh, check that they're good and then we'll transfer them and I'll do another video of that. Or film that too. Hey guys, so I'm starting to update the the animals as from yesterday that I got from Jesse. Sinister on arachno boards. Here's the LP in her enclosure. Hopefully this is a female. I'm not really sure. We both said we couldn't tell. I'm not sure, I mean Somehow I think it might be a boy, but hey, that's cool with me because I have a huge gravid female right there. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, here she is. Hopefully it's a female, like I said. Or a male, doesn't matter. Next up we got the mature male HNC, Holothelianse, the Trinidad Dwarf. This is a mature male specimen hiding here. He's already doing a bit of webbing. I gave him a piece of wood so he could make a sperm web off of something. So we'll see what he's up to. He's already eaten, which is cool as well. So yeah, he's doing good. I don't want to nudge him because he'll bolt on us and they're really fast. Okay, before she runs, this is the immature female, Holothelia Inse, that I received from Jesse. She's clearly done some webbing already. She's very fast, so I think that if I make the slightest movement, 
nudge her container, drop this flashlight too quickly, it'll provoke her to bolt. So I just want to give you all a good glimpse, and I'm going to get the lid back on quick. But look at that. She's beautiful. Look at that care face. It's just so pretty. Yep. So that's her. Maybe in about a molt she'll be breedable. Yep. Here we have the Pier Minya. Salmopoas Arminia sling. Uh, just chilling. Hasn't really done anything yet. It's eaten twice, which is nice. Taking small prey items. So it's definitely nothing's wrong with her. But uh, yeah, it hasn't really started constructing much. It did do a little bit of webbing there, but that's probably just from walking around the enclosure. So it's doing well. In here is the Freebie P. Cambridge Iceling. It's just back in there. Yeah, pretty sweet. Hey guys, so <laughs> here's the bred female's enclosure. Jesse was kind enough to breed this mature female, HNC, with, uh, with one of his males back at his place. And he gave me another different specimen, mature male, that I can breed with this female so that I can get a super healthy huge sack because of the very genetics there. So it'll, apparently if you can breed two different males with the female you can get a really nice sack. So I'm really excited because technically she could even just drop a sack now because she's already been bred but with the male you already saw hoping to breed her soon we can get another one. So here she is. She's beautiful as well. A little bigger than the other female. And this is her enclosure. I try to set her up in more of a naturalistic enclosure and it's very very fine mesh so should she produce a sack in here I'm hoping to start a communal where the babies will be too large to even fit through this lid hopefully we'll have to see what happens I might do another layer or put something over that but this is the intention start a communal in here so I'm probably gonna put a piece of wood or bark somewhere here that they can go hide in there too but there's lots of live plants, different kinds of wandering Jew, pothos, some baby tears. I, it didn't really last too much, but some of it's like, okay, we can make it, so it might spread. But yeah, that's her. So Jesse, thanks again. I just wanted to show everyone that your animals are crazy, amazing, healthy, and uh, they're thriving. And uh, yeah. Uh, also, guys, I really owe you an update. I mean, things are quite incredible. I haven't even shown you a tarantula tour yet. Just to give you an idea how intense I've gotten into this, uh, I make some pretty nice enclosures, I like to think. I mean, this is my Phobopus marinus enclosure. Yeah, it's pretty intense, right? And she lives in there. She just molted too. So I'm sure you guys would like to see those sort of things. Or if you want, look at my P. regalis. Back wall there. You've seen her in the mating video. Look at her enclosure. It's pretty nice. That's a P. Metallica enclosure. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I'm going to turn the timer back off. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you in an update soon. Take care.